continuous line panel is a, is, is a new product for KPS Global with the acquisition of Custom Cooler. It gives us the option to combine the camlock panels the, with the continuous line panels to get the most cost-effective design, both from a structural standpoint and from an overall product application. From a design standpoint, panels can span up to 45 feet for wall sections. Ceiling panels span up to 30 feet. So the CLP panel is a great product for large-scale applications processing rooms, pharmaceutical applications, warehouses, uh, biotech, blood banks, those type of uh, installations are a perfect fit for the, the CLP product. The sequencing of building a CLP panel, first is that the loading elevator lifts each individual sheet up into the, the processing machine. A finger joint is put in the end of the panel. That allows for a continuous section, both structurally and aesthetically. The next part of the machine is when the insulation is driven together and goes through another machine that shapes the sides, puts the tongue and groove configuration on the foam itself. At that point, the bun that has been now pushed together is planed by another 32nd of an inch to make a perfectly smooth surface to laminate to. The metal is passed through a mason machine where a bit of a corrugation is put to it. This is a 1 8th of an inch corrugation that allows for stiffening of the metal. This is both an aesthetic and a structural component. The panels are then are laminated together with a urethane glue we have a heavy splatter system of the glue, and then it remains relatively viscous as it goes into the press itself, where we get a smearing effect, so we have total coverage of the glue to the foam. Then it goes into the press, and the chemical reaction occurs of the adhesion, and within about a 35-foot long section, we've gone from two pieces of metal and a piece of insulation to a composite panel. The last two stages include the cutting of the panel. The panel is cut by a what's called a silent knife, which is a pair of roller blades that cut the metal. In between those blades is an anvil blade that rolls the metal under, makes it very safe to handle. The next step is the panel itself is then cut by a bandsaw blade. Once the panel is cut, it's picked up by what we call the octopus, which is a suction cup lifting mechanism. The panels are then set onto a cart and taken over to the stretch wrapper. So with a CLP panel, it's a much more flexible installation. Openings for windows and doors are cut in the field, uh, making for a very quick and very clean installation. A properly installed CLP panel provides for continuous foam-to-foam -foam contact throughout the panel and a clean, tight panel joint. At all paneled panel joints, a continuous bead of butyl is to be applied to the joint reservoir provided. On coolers, a single bead to the warm side is applied. On freezers, a bead of butyl is applied to both the interior and the exterior reservoir. Do not install the butyl on the foam surface. Doing this will prevent the panel from achieving the foam-to-foam -foam contact at the joint. At all wall-to-ceiling and wall-to-wall -wall at corner connections, a proper thermal break must be made to the panels. The removal of a minimum 3-inch wide strip of the ceiling panel metal is recommended as a proper thermal break. The exterior side of the wall-to-ceiling and wall-to-wall -wall corner joints must also have a vapor barrier applied before the outside corner trim is applied. These pictures show suspended ceiling. We have the ceiling channel, the all-thread which attaches to the building roof structure, and the seismic wiring that can be required in certain conditions. When the building roof structure will not hold the suspended ceiling panel weight, then traditional inside posts and beam or pallet rack support of the ceilings is often used. The completed ceiling installed and suspended has a nice clean look. As you can see on this dock area, no posts and beams to get in the way of forklift traffic. So the CLP product provides a, a very economical solution. It gives you a great structural product as well as a good insulating material.